Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to use the zoom feature on your on your Texas instrument here. Uh, what we're going to do here is I've already entered in these two formulas into Y1 and Y2 of the graphing feature of the calculator, and I'm going to show you how the zoom feature works. Okay, so I'm going to graph uh, graph those two functions right there. Now, when I press zoom, I've got a couple of options here. I'm going to show you the probably the 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 four most common buttons that you want to press here. Uh, first of all, will be zoom in. Okay, when I press zoom in, now I'm allowed to use my arrow keys here to move my cursor around. And then what I'll do here is I'll, it looks like there's some interesting stuff going on here, so I'm going to move my cursor right there. So when I press enter, what the calculator does is it zooms in on that point by a factor of one quarter. Uh, so the, the window settings, okay, drop in from going from negative 10 to 10, negative 10 to 10. So there's basically a, a domain of, if you want to think of it this way, a domain of 20, a range of 20 there on the screen. It goes into just five, uh, five by five here. And it zooms in on that particular point here. Okay. Uh, the opposite would be to do zoom out. And again, you're free to move the cursor wherever you want. Okay, on the screen here. But let's, let's say we put the cursor right here. Uh, when I press enter, it zooms out, uh, again, by a factor of four this time. Uh, now notice it doesn't go right back to the original, uh, the original window, because what it's done is it's used that point as the center and gone out um, both directions from there. Okay. Another feature, another zoom that is quite useful is zoom box. I really like this one. Okay, zoom box, uh, once you've identified that, what you do is you move the cursor. Let's say we're going to move the cursor up here. And then really what happens here is this acts like a mouse. So now when I press enter, okay, it gives me a little box here. And I can move this again. What the, what the calculator is going to do is it's going to zoom in on that box. It's going to make that box there fill the screen. I really like this one. It's a, a really convenient way of... of like zooming in on exactly what you want to see on the graph, which is quite useful. Okay, so that's zoom in, zoom out, zoom box. And then uh, the, the final one here, one that you should all be familiar with is zoom standard. If you ever start graphing something and the window settings look absolutely bizarre, you're not sure what's going on, it always helps to press zoom standard. Okay, number six takes you right back to the factory default settings, negative 10, 10, 1, negative 10, 10, 1.